In the previous video, we discussed cations and anions. We learned that cations are positively charged and anions are negatively charged. In this video, we'll learn about the way in which cations and anions interact with each other. Cations and anions come together to form ionic compounds. The molecules that make up ionic compounds are held together by electrostatic attraction. We can use Coulomb's law to understand this attraction. Coulomb's law states that the electric force between two charged objects is directly proportional to the magnitude of the product of their charges. Q1 and Q2 represent the charges of the ions. Coulomb's law also tells us that the electric force between two charged objects is inversely proportional to the square distance between the objects. D is the distance between the centers of the ions. Finally, K is a constant of proportionality. Let's first take a look at how ionic charges affect interactions between the ions. Consider the interaction between a potassium ion, which has a plus one charge, and a bromide ion, which has a minus one charge. Coulomb's law tells us that because potassium and bromide have opposite charges, they will have a negative force, which means that they attract each other. According to Coulomb's law, what would happen to the magnitude of electric force if we replace the potassium ion with a calcium ion, which has a plus two charge but is about the same size. We said earlier that the electric force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the product of ionic charges. This means that as this magnitude increases, so will the electric force. So if we replace the plus one charge of the potassium ion with the plus two charge of the calcium ion in the numerator of the equation, the electric force will double. The strength of the attraction between calcium and bromide is twice as strong as the force of attraction between potassium and bromide. Now let's consider how distance affects the electric force between two charged objects. Again, let's look at potassium and bromide. The atomic radius of bromide is fairly big, so the distance between it and potassium is also relatively big. According to Coulomb's law, what would happen to the magnitude of electric force if we replaced the bromide ion with a fluoride ion, which is much smaller, but has the same charge of negative one? If we look at the equation, we see that the square distance is in the denominator. This means that electric force and distance are inversely proportional. So as distance decreases, electric force increases. When we replace the bromide ion with a smaller fluoride ion, the only factor that was affected was the distance. Q1 and Q2 did not change because a fluoride anion has the same charge as a bromide anion. Because a fluoride anion is smaller than a bromide anion, the distance between the cation and the anion decreased. As we said, distance is in the denominator, so replacing bromide with fluoride increases the electric force between the two ions. It's worth noting that we mostly focus on the Coulombic energy between species in chemistry. Energy is force times distance, so the energy equation will be very similar to the force equation, which we showed before. In the energy equation, the distance in the denominator will not be squared. However, all of the qualitative aspects that we discussed in this video remain the same.